So on today's episode of Being a Jungle Gym for Cats, I mean um, Bearded Trout's Flies, we are going to tie some furry dragons. They're going to be furry for two reasons, cat fur and furry foam. So this pattern is going to be tied on a number 8, 9672 or 5262 equivalent, I believe, uh, to a 2XL, nice heavy streamer hook. Uh, I'm using dot Uni Thread. It is loaded up in the bobbin, so that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a Sculpin Olive UTC wire for our rib. Rambo, watch out. Actually, no, the hook point's in, in a little deep enough, so he can't get hurt. Anyways, back to our fly, or our menu. So, um, where was I? Uh, our wire, our shell back is light olive quarter inch scud back. Our furry foam as our main material. And I cut these into one centimeter, one centimeter strips, which is your three eighths equivalent if you're not into the metric system. Um, our legs are going to be pheasant tail fibers. I have some medium bead chain eyes in mottled olive and I have also painted some red, like a uh, blood red. And then our head area is gonna be a dubbing that I have of choice to go with our furry foam. So let's get started. I'll see you in a minute. We'll be uh, cat free for a few minutes and uh, let's get stuck tying. All right. Now that we're feline free, this is what we're tying to achieve. Yes, tying to achieve. So as you can see, Rambo is feeling much better. And I feel I may have beckoned the little beast, but we'll see. But aside from Rambo doing well, Congo, my camping and fishing buddy, he has given me a little scare. So might be renaming him Daddy's New Little Boat Setup, depending on how much more he costs, but that's besides the point. He's going to get better to be on the boat shortly. So we're going to start our thread, run it down to the bend of the shank. We're going to start with our wire. We're going to run that on the opposite side of the shank so that when our first wrap it goes under the body. At this point we're going to grab our scud back, tie that in, run that back down to where the wire starts. And at this point I like to uh, tie my eyes on so that I can reference the length of my body. And a tip for tying bead chain eyes on, give yourself a little, little bit of a base to lock them into. So I just do a little bit of dubbing. Then we're going to take our eyes, line them up. I like my dragons to be eye forward, so I'll just, before I've locked them into place, just roll them a bit, get them close enough to the eye. and then lock them in. At this point, we're gonna take our furry foam. As previously, 
previously stated, I have cut it into one centimeter strips. And I'm just going to gauge almost, I'd say about halfway to halfway the length of the shank. And I'm going to cut it roughly right down the center. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie that on the sides of the shank. So that we're going to create a little bit of a, a wider body to this instead of having that bulk on the top. And I like to do one of my splits at a time. And with the furry foam, it does have some stretch to it. And that's why we only cut it halfway over our shank. Because when we do pull it and tie it all the way down, again, making sure that it's flat. And then bring that right down to your bend. Advance your thread back up, give it a little lockdown on that body, make sure she's flat. Then with the furry foam, your first, first wrap, you want to make sure that it's going to line up nice for your butt. You don't want one side sticking out a bit more. And then just advance to your eyes, and I like to wrap roughly halfway over the previous wrap. And here's another optional trick you can do. Grab yourself a Sharpie or two. Give it a few marks. Got brown and a little green. Once again, optional. And as I stated, watch your butt bump, and then halfway overlapping your previous. Bring that to your desired point behind your eyes where you want to end your, your main abdomen before your thorax starts. And just tie off, cut off your furry foam. Lock that in place. Take your scud back. Make sure it lines up over the body, nice and clean. And then to prevent the forward side from getting that little bend or kink when you do have a little bit of tension. We're just going to make one light wrap, making sure it folds underneath the thread. Do one more and then pull her down tight, almost like you're flaring, flaring deer hair. A few more wraps behind the eyes and then we're just going to go figure eight to over top of the eyes. Take your thumbnail. Once you've done your figure eight, make sure the scud back is folded fairly flat. Push your thumbnail down, make a couple wraps right in front of the eyes. And what this is going to do is once we've finished our fly off, when we pull that over, it's going to give us a nice flat lay over the head. So now your thread is behind the eyes again. Take your wire, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the edge of the cut line of the furry foam, making sure our scud back is still in place on the body. It is going to give us a very nice, clean ribbing. Tie our wire off. Being copper, it is soft. 
helicopter it off. Don't cut it. Why ruin the scissors? Now we're going to take a <clears throat> clump of our pheasant tail for our legs, peel that off. We're going to tie it on the sides, roughly the length of the body. It can be a little longer, a little shorter, personal preference. I'm just going to kind of pinch it on. And then do the same on the opposite side. Just if necessary, it's always necessary. And then trim your excess. Now we're just going to do a dubbing noodle. And you can pick whatever dubbing you choose. It's just a, kind of a kitchen sink blend of a olive that I've created that's very similar to the furry foam. It's got a little bit of rabbit, a little bit of uh, antron, some flash. A little of this, a little of that. Like I said, kitchen sink. Now what we're going to do is wrap a few wraps behind the head and we're just going to advance over top of the body and it kind of holds those legs, giving that profile on the body. And then wrap figure eighting around your eyes, building up that head. And as, as you need, add your, your dubbing. Only work with what you can work with in your means. Why have your thread like two feet out when you don't need it to be? Work with it where it's easy to work with. Finish your head off. And then what we're going to do is just pull our scud back. And with, with how we tied it previously, it's going to have that nice curve over the top of the eyes. And then I like to tie it in roughly the center of where my dubbing is, or where, where the distance of my um, dubbing is behind the eyes. Give it a little tension as tie it in. And then just lock it in. And this is where we're gonna whip finish it off. And just as you're about to grab those scissors and cut your thread, wait, there's more. So I'll give it a little, a little glue, a little nail polish. Right on top of that thread. It's going to soak in there. Locking that in. We're just going to take a little bit more dubbing. And we're just going to create a small tight noodle. Let's give it that first start wrap. Then you're going to whip finish again. And this is just going to hide your, your thread tucking that initial initial whip in. At this point you're going to take your scissors, run it down the back and cut your your scud back into a v-notch. That's going to create your wing buds. Rambo's going to hop up and help us dub out. A little bit of dubbing below the eyes. And there you have it.
there is your furry foam furry dragon by bearded trouts flies if you're already subscribed thank you if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram under Bearded Charts Flies, as well as Congo is Exploring with Congo on Instagram. Thank you. Until the next fly. Happy flies. We're out.